Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for a new military video. Today's argument is about an interesting kind of aircraft. They are commonly known as AWOCs, but the formal name is Airborne Early Warning and Control System. They are airborne radar system designed to detect aircraft, ships, vehicles, missiles and any kind of threat, just like any other radar, but with the main advantage to be mounted on an aircraft. So you can take your radar and send it far away from you, increasing your detecting range a lot especially for ground targets that can be also ships, so not only really on the ground, that usually are less detectable because of the horizon. So in this video we will analyze the 5 best and the most adopted of them. We start the list with the 5th spot, the KJ500 from China. It's been produced from 2010, with 17 of them built until now. We don't have exact information about the cost, as usual with uh, China machines, but we know that the airframe is based on the i9 cargo aircraft. We don't have a latest upgrade because it's already very new, and for the operators we can find China and Pakistan. It has a crew of 4 with a mission crew from 10 to 20 people, depending on the mission. The aircraft has a length of 36 meters, an height of 11.3 meters and a wingspan of 38 meters. The wing area is 122 square meters. We can find an empty weight of 41,000 kilograms and a maximum takeoff weight of 65,000 kilograms. For the aircraft performance we can find a maximum speed of 550 km per hour or 300 knots and a cruise speed of 450 km per hour or 245 knots. We have a maximum range of 5700 km with a service sailing of 10400 meters. For the power plant we have 4 turboprop with a total power of 20400 HP. For the radar we can find a rotodome, this one is static, so it's not rotating, with a diameter of 7 meters. It has a maximum detecting range of 470 km for air and 200 km for ground or low flying objects, not really only on the ground. The radar is an ASA type, that means active electronically scanned array and is achieved by the use of three antennas in a triangle disposition. At the fourth spot we can find the Global Eye from Sweden. This is one of the most adopted systems in the world and now I show you what I mean. It's been produced from 1996 with 68 of them built until now, but in this model. Wait, now I'll explain better. It has a cost from 50 to 100 million dollars, also here you can find something quite different because this system can be mounted on many iFree. In this case I choose the Bombardier Global 6000 that is probably the best solution for it, but you can find it also mounted on other iframe, for example the Embraer 145, the Saab 340 or the Saab 2000, so as you may notice it's mounted on many solutions. The latest upgrade of this system is the ADI ER or Extended Range that was introduced in 2016. So the radar itself is the ARI ER, but in this case we consider the Global Eye because it's mounted on the Global 6000. If mounted on other solutions, the name is still ARI and the name of the project. If mounted on other iframes, of course, is a. So the system is the. ARI ER, but if mounted on other iframe, also the final name can change. For the operators we can find many of them, because as I said before is one of the most adopted. We can find Sweden, that of course is the one who designed it, but also Brazil, Greece, Mexico, Saudi Arabia, Thailand and the United Arab Emirates. For the aircraft I took in consideration the Bombardier, as I said before, because I think it's the best solution, so keep in mind that the info now are different if you take in consideration one of the other iframe. In this case we can find a crew of 4 with a mission crew that goes between 13 to 17 people. The aircraft has a length of 30.3 meters, an height of 7.8 meters and a wingspan of 28.7 meters. The wing area is 94.8 square meters. We can find an empty weight of 23,000 kg and a maximum takeoff weight of 45,130 kg. It can reach a maximum speed of 1100 km per hour or 600 knots, it's quite fast, 
and a cruise speed of 900 km per hour or 485 knots. We have a maximum range of 12,000 km and a service sailing of 15,000 meters. For the power plant we can find two turbofans with a total power of 130 kN. Now, while these performance are dedicated to the Bombardier and, as I said before, they can change with other iframe, the next specifications are dedicated to the radar itself, so they are the same for all the solutions. We have a flat shape radar that is static, of course, cannot move, with a dimension of 9.5 meters in length and a 300 degrees coverage, 150 degrees of coverage per side. It has a maximum detecting range of 550 km for air targets and 350 km for ground targets. As I said before, with ground targets we also intend low-flying objects, ships, so not only on the ground. Also this one is an ASA radar, so an active electronic scanner array, with also the addition of a Maritime Surveillance Radar, or MSR. We start the top 3 with the E2 Hawkeye from United States. This aircraft is quite peculiar and the position can be also higher if we consider more factors, something that I'll show you later, so stay tuned. It's been produced from 1960, so it's a quite old system, with 313 of them built until now. It has a cost of 80 million dollars. The iframe is not available because this one is not based on a previous aircraft but was completely designed from zero to be an OOX. We can find the latest upgrade introduced in 2015 called E2D Advanced Hawkeye. For the operators we can find the United States, of course the designers of the system, Egypt, France, Japan, Israel, Mexico, Singapore and Taiwan. The aircraft has a crew of two and a mission crew of three, so not so many people like the others. It has a length of 17.6 meters, an height of 5.6 meters and a wingspan of 24.6 meters. The wing area is 65 square meters and we can find an empty weight of 18,230 kg and a maximum takeoff weight of 26,100 kg. It can reach a maximum speed of 650 km per hour or 350 knots and a cruise speed of 475 km per hour or 255 knots. It has a maximum range of 2700 km that can be a little bit different but I explain very soon so wait a second. A service sailing of 10600 meters while for the power plant we have two turboprops with a total power of 11800 HP. For the radar specifications we have a rotodome that is rotating so it has a 360 degrees coverage with a diameter of 7.3 meters. The maximum range is 650 km for air targets and 350 km for ground targets. Also this one is an ASA radar, so an active electronically scanned array, with the addition of the maritime radar, the APS-145. Now the peculiar characteristic I was referring before start here. We can find an high refueling probe and the aircraft carrier catapult launch. So not only the previous range can be doubled with the air refueling, but this one is transported and launched from aircraft carrier. And this is a quite important information because aircraft carrier have unlimited range. So this aircraft can be launched very far away from the coast and have a final range much higher compared to other aircraft. So yes, we have a 2700 km of maximum range, but the final range can be considered unlimited because you can launch it anywhere in the world. So let me know in the comments what do you think about it, because it's really peculiar and the only one that can achieve this result. So it was really difficult to decide for me and I would like to know your opinion. At the second spot we can find the A50 from Soviet Union. It's being produced from 1984, with 40 of them built until now. It has a cost of 180 million dollars and based on the Ilyushin IL-76 iframe. The latest upgrade, the Beriev A100, will be introduced in 2024, or something like that because there are delays so probably will arrive later, we are not completely sure. For the operators we can find Russia, that of course is the designer and main operator of it, China and India, both of them with a different name because the machine was 
modified in their country with a little bit different system. In China it takes the name of KJ2000 and in India ELW2090. For the aircraft we have a crew of 4 and a mission crew that goes from 9 to 11 people. It has a length of 49.6 meters, an height of 14.8 meters and a wingspan of 50.5 meters. The wing area is 300 square meters. Then we can find an empty weight of 75,000 kilograms and a maximum takeoff weight of 170,000 kilograms. It can reach a maximum speed of 900 km per hour or 490 knots and a cruise speed of 600 km per hour or 320 knots. It has a maximum range of 7,500 km and a safe sailing of 12,000 meters. For the power plant we can find a 4 turbofan with a total power of 472 kN. For the radar also the A50 adopts a rotodome rotating with a diameter of 9 meters. The maximum detecting range is 650 km for air targets and 300 km for ground targets. We can find the Liana surveillance radar and the new update, the A100, that should arrive in 2024 will introduce also an AESA radar, the active electronically scanned array update. Also in this one we can find the air refueling probe to extend the maximum range of the aircraft. And finally we reached the first position with the E3 Sentry from United States. It's been produced from 1977 with 68 of them built until now. It has a cost of 270 million dollars and it's based on the Boeing 707-320B iframe. The latest upgrade, the E3G, was introduced in 2015. For the operators we can find of course United States that is the main operator, then we have also Chile, France, NATO, Saudi Arabia and the United Kingdom. The aircraft has a crew of 4 that goes from 13 to 19 operators. It has a length of 46.6 meters, an height of 12.6 meters, a wingspan of 44.4 meters, I like this number, and a wing area of 283 square meters. Then we can find an empty weight of 83,900 kg and a maximum takeoff weight of 157,400 kg. It can reach a maximum speed of 850 km per hour or 460 knots and a cruise speed of 580 km per hour or 310 knots. It has a maximum range of 7,400 km and a service ceiling of more than 10,000 meters. For the power plant we can find four turbofans with a total power of 384 kN. For the radar also this one adopts a rotodome rotating with a 360 degrees coverage with a diameter of 9.1 meters. The maximum detecting range is 650 km for air targets and 400 km for ground targets. For this system we can find the PESA radar that is a passive electronically scanned array, a secondary surveillance radar or SSR, electronic support measures or ESM and the APS-133 color weather radar. Also for this aircraft we can find the air refueling probe that increases the maximum range of the aircraft. Also this video finished here, I hope you enjoyed the list, if yes remember to leave a thumbs up. And let me know if you like this kind of machine, because we do not only have aircraft, but also helicopters with a similar role. And also another kind of system that they are similar, for example the anti-submarine warfare systems that are very interesting. So let me know if you like also this kind of machines and I'll try to make other lists on them. Remember to check the right up corner or description of the video to find more videos like this one that you may like as well. And as usual let me know in the comments what you would like to see next so you can give me your opinion or your ideas for a next video in the comments. And that's all, see you again next week with a new video, bye!